Welcome back to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. This is a uh, different kind of episode today. I'm actually driving my uh, work car, my Toyota Corolla, and I came across a newer work car, and my brother said, hey, I'll take your old work car. So we are actually headed to St. Louis. Um, he is coming down from Ohio to St. Louis, and we are headed from Tulsa to St. Louis, and he's going to take uh, the Toyota Corolla home with him and run it to death. I haven't been able to kill it. It has over 400,000 miles on it, and I haven't been able to do it in, so uh, he's going to give it a shot. <laughs> Our camping trip this weekend is uh, uh, going to be down the road to Missouri and we're going to stay in the uh, Robert E. Talbot conservation area tonight and then get up early in the morning and head out to St. Louis and meet my brother and give him the car and then uh, I'm traveling with my wife so she is in the pilot and uh, we'll ride back together in that. So. a campground just west of St. Louis on the way back towards Tulsa and we will stay the night there and maybe do a little bit of bike riding around and uh, just get out in, in the fresh air a little bit. The Robert E. Talbot Conservation Area is wedged between a little triangle of 44 and Route 96 just west of Springfield. It is in the rolling hills of Amish country. The conservation area has a free camping area that has some good sized pads and is reasonably maintained. We set up the gazelle tent, obviously in a very spacious pad, and enjoyed the evening. There was a lot of rain and flooding in this area in the last few days before our arrival and Route 97 was actually closed so it made for a quiet evening with very little traffic and we just sat and took in the view of the sunset across the pasture. It was actually very nostalgic. Um, I grew up in Mennonite and Amish country um, with pasture and fields right across from my house. It's a beautiful evening. In the morning, we woke up to some cool air, some condensation and dew on everything, and just began the morning routine of coffee and oatmeal.
The gazelle tent is always a pretty quick breakdown, so we took it down, slid it into the back of the pilot, and we were on our way.